Hello viewers. In today's Learn Teach Learn session, let's talk about some of the motivational theories. Now there are many of them. I'm going to cover three. The first one is the Maslow hierarchy of needs. The second one is Herzberg's theory, two-factor theory, and the third one is Bagrador's XY theory. Now before we get started with these, let's start with one of the Apple's advertisements. It was pretty famous. It goes something like this. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes. They see things differently. They are not fond of rules. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them, but the only thing you cannot do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. Now, every time I hear this advertisement, I look at this advertisement, I get a sense of motivation. It's like a pep talk. And that brings me to two factors. One is intrinsic motivation and the other one is extrinsic motivation. Now, many times when you are down and out, you probably rely on external factors to motivate you back. And there's again your intrinsic motivation, which is based on things that you have internalized. It's based on the mindset that you have. So interestingly, uh, H. Maslow, Abraham Maslow, gave a hierarchy of needs pyramid. He spoke about things that needs to be met before you transcend to the higher levels. So first thing is you need to have your physiological needs met. It could be food, shelter, and other things. Then it is about safety. In older days when your know, mankind was hunting for food, it meant safety from animals, safety from external factors. In today's world, it may mean safety in terms of job security. Now, once these two needs are met, the next one is sense of belonging. As human beings, we want to be part of something bigger, a bigger purpose than yourself. You want to be part of a group. You want to feel the love and belonging in that group. So that's the next need. It is sense of belonging feeling of loveness and oneness. The next one is self-esteem. Self-esteem is all about accomplishment, feeling of self-worthiness. So you feel that you are worthy to have good things in life. Having a higher self-esteem is a key factor in, in terms of how you succeed in life and how much satisfied you are in life. And the last one is self-actualization. That basically means you realize your true potential. So that's the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Herzberg gave the two-factor theory. He said these three things are hygiene factors. These need to be met. These are something, if these things are not present, then someone may get dissatisfied, demotivated. But having these things in place doesn't mean that you will be motivated. So these are hygiene factors. It needs to be in place, but it doesn't motivate. The next two items in the hierarchy of needs pyramid are the motivational factors. So that's Herzberg's two-factor two theory. Now the last one that I'm going to cover in today's video is McGregor's XY theory. So Douglas McGregor did a lot of research in 1960s and he said there are two kinds of mindsets and there are two kinds of managers. Managers with X kind of mindset, theory X mindset, and managers with theory Y mindset. The theory X mindset manager feel that People want to avoid work. They have an attitude of avoiding work, attitude of doing little to get more. They need to be directed. There is no sense of self-direction. You need to control them. You need to manage them. They tend to avoid responsibility. They do not want to take responsibility on new work items. And they are not creative. If, even if they're creative, that's more in terms of how they can avoid the work or how can they get things done easily without worrying about quality. That's theory X, and that's the X mindset. The theory Y states that people by nature are you know, self-motivated individuals. They want to transcend and use their true potential. Their attitude is to do more. They are self-directed. They want to take more responsibility, and they find creative ways of optimizing the work and get things done. So these three are the motivation theories that I wanted to cover in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again. Thank you.